Welcome back. You know, some of you may know actress Arnesha Walker. You see, for years she played the role of Laurel in the smash Broadway musical Dream Girls. Singing in musicals is just one side of her talent. Old and new fans now enjoy her as head nurse Annie Rowland in the hit TV sitcom Nurses. In her role as head nurse Annie Rowland, Arnesha Walker sometimes has to lay down the law. Could you keep it down? I'm on the phone. <laughs> Not anymore. Now, as I was saying, certain liberties are being taken and it's going to stop. Gina, She's strong, but gentle, and Sandy very King independent. And next time Characteristics she certainly learned from a unique Julie, childhood. I'm not gonna you had a very unusual upbringing. True? Yes. Yeah. 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 Last of what, 11 children? Last of 11. My mother died when I was an infant. I never knew who my daddy was. And uh, when I was five, I went to live with a sister who married a guy that was in the Air Force. Traveled around a lot, got to live in Japan for three years as a kid. You learn any of the language? Yeah, we were living in a, a Japanese village called Patty Paradise, and I couldn't speak any Japanese, and the little girl next door was my age, and she couldn't speak any English, her name was Suzuko. And we became best friends, and by the time I left, I could speak Japanese and she could speak uh, English. Talk, talk to me. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, I'd say, Anata no no mai wa? I asked you, what is your name? So you would say, Watashi no no mai wa? Elliot this. That's great, though. So you probably, through a unique upbringing that probably most people wouldn't have a chance to uh, be exposed to, I mean, you probably, there's probably a lot of benefits there. Being orphaned so young in life, I, I definitely learned to be independent and to depend on myself. When I was 12, I went to live with a brother that lived in New York. Mm -hmm. I read about the sc High School of Performing Arts, and I had decided long ago, like when I was three years old, that I wanted to be an actress. How, how did you know? What caused you to know at that young I age? I can believe this, Elliot. I'll try. Doris Day. <laughs> Come on. I was three years old. I saw this woman singing on this horse. She was beautiful. <laughs> and um, it was, I didn't want to be Doris Day. But she made me feel so good, mm -hmm. especially at a time when I had uh, very little self-esteem and I felt, you know, very unwanted. But she, I loved her. And I said, wow, if I can do that, then people will love me the way I'm loving her. And then in the second grade, uh, we were learning um, Peter Cottontail. Now, I could sing before I could talk, really. Um, my Aunt Susie used to take me to church from as, as young as I can remember. And one day we're sitting in second grade and the teacher's teaching us, here, come Pe here comes Peter Cottontail. And you know, I'm singing like I always say, here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down a bunny trail. She's like, stop, stop. And I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, and she was, who was that? Who was that singing? And of course, I didn't say anything. I mean, I didn't know she was talking about me. And she went one by one and made every kid sing. And then when she got to me, she took me aside later and she said, you know, you really have something special here. You really can sing. You I've had a long career, Elliot. A long Started in the second grade. <laughs> <laughs> and it definitely didn't stop there. Arnisha went on to do several Broadway productions while still in high school. Then came the highlight of her career when she landed her most memorable role in Michael Bennett's hit musical, Dream Girls. In fact, she's the only actress credited with portraying all three principal roles. My regular role was Laurel, the, the comedic one, the, the silly one. And at that time, I also understudied the Dina Jones role, which is a Diana Ross type character. And I was fascinated with Effie. So I was always begging Michael Bennett, please let me understudy Effie, let me understudy Effie. And he's like, I need to, you are absolutely wrong. No, no, no. <laughs> So we were in L.A., and uh, my phone rang one evening around 6 o'clock. I'm getting ready to go to the theater. I was supposed to be there at 7.30, and uh, it was Michael Bennett. Hi. And I was like, yeah, Michael. He says, uh, you know how you always wanted to play Effie? And I said, yeah. Well, you're on tonight. Get over here now. <laughs> and I was, no rehearsal. After Dreamgirls, Arnisha landed several movie roles in films like Scenes from the Class Struggle in Beverly Hills and Cast a Deadly Spell. Mr. Watkins, 311. I need a nurse in here. Right away. Talk to you about um, uh, nurses, your role uh, as Annie. Do you find that you have to work with the writers from time to time just to maintain the integrity of the character? 
that's very interesting what you bring up because there was an episode that we did about uh, a KKK like member coming to the hospital and Annie saves his life mm -hmm. twice and he still hates her. Yeah. You know, and she has this very poignant speech to him. Now yesterday, you came up against your worst nightmare. You were the most helpless that you've ever been in your life and the only person that could save you was me, a black person. Now that didn't change you at all, but it sure changed me. We talked earlier about the business and the times that work can get tough. Now things are going so well for you. I mean, did, does it diminish those times that were really thin? No, absolutely. Fresh? Absolutely, absolutely. It's still very fresh. Uh, it's very important that we pay dues or have lean times, or uh, because if you don't, then how do you know when the good times are? Very talented. It's great to meet you. Great to talk with you. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. And you fine. <laughs> Don't cut that out. <laughs> now, you know if you move, you lose. Stick around. We'll be right back with a look at San Antonio Spurs coach, John Lucas.